We are actually um, in Cancun, and we have planned what we think is like the ultimate surprise. Uh, so it's kind of a twofold. So the first is that this resort is where my parents come like every year. So they don't know we're here. Um, hopefully it's not going to ruin their <laughs> vacation, but we think they're going to be excited. And then the second part is that the kids have no idea they're here either. So we just got in. It is like two in the morning for us. It's, I don't know, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock here. So we are going to plan some type of um, meet tomorrow where uh, some type of reveal. So, but we are super glad to be on our time zone and looking forward to tomorrow. Thank you for watching and following along on our European adventure over the last couple lets. Um, we have really enjoyed sharing our life in this way. So uh, we'll get back to what happened in Mexico, but first we just wanted to share kind of as our trip is ending, uh, what happens next. So we've been asking you know, like, is this gonna continue? What are y'all gonna do uh, with your life? after this so <laughs> do you have a life plan uh, yeah do you have a plan um so we just wanted to share kind of what we're going to do from a video standpoint so over the next couple weeks we're going to try to recap and just kind of get our arms wrapped around what just happened try to one just look back and see what all happened and what we did but two really try to dive into like all the things that you know, we set out to maybe accomplish or we set out these goals of what it was going to be like and were any of those true or not. Um, so we're going to do that over the next couple weeks. So after that, um, we've got plans to move into more of, um, not tutorial, but we're in no me we're, we're in no way an expert at traveling. However, after six months, we have a lot of experience. And what we would love to do is just share some of our tips and things we did right, things we did wrong, things if we were to do it again, yeah. how we would do it differently because we've just, we've heard a lot of people um, discuss with us like, we would love to do something like that. Maybe not six months, maybe not you know, to that extent, but you know, wrapping your arms around like how to just go to Europe it's a big deal and especially with kids yeah with kids and if you've seen the movie taken oh my gosh it's just you're never gonna go don't. so no don't watch me take it so we're just gonna try to uh, put out what we've learned so that if it's something you want to do uh, hopefully we can can give you some ideas about how to do it I would say a lot of the stuff we learned we learned through a mistake Sure. So maybe you can avoid the mistake. Okay, so after we show you a little bit about what happened in Mexico, we actually have our next location planned and ready to go, and it's gonna be happening way sooner than you might think. So stay tuned for that when we come back and we'll share with you what our next adventure is gonna be. So um, we're up. You know, early, of course, because of the time change, and we're out on our porch just kind of having breakfast. Um, so I look up and I see my mom out on the patio. She doesn't know we're here, of course, but she's looking out toward the ocean, not towards us. So we are all walking. It is an early morning, and we're going to surprise. Oh, 
we decided to end our trip in Mexico and we honestly wanted to take the time to get back on this time zone. Um, jet lag was a beast for all of us. We, we had a few two o'clock mornings with our kids. Um, but we wanted just to leave our phones and our cameras in the hotel room and just enjoy our time together before um, we headed back to the States. Yep. Which is what we did and it was nice. It was, it felt more like vacation. It really did. Okay, so we are actually going on our next adventure in May. Two months. Yeah, about two months. Last year, we took a month long trip to Portugal and it felt like an eternity to most of us. And this year, we're gonna take a month long trip and all of us, even our kids are like, how long are we going? We said a month and they're like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> So yeah, so we are going to be going to the island of Martinique, which is a French province or something. I mean, it's kind of like the U.S. and St. Lucia, St. John, or is that right? So. Geography is always my... So we're really excited. I think we're going to get some good surf time in, or I, I say that like we know how to surf. We don't. I think we had an idea when we went to we're Europe try. that we... We actually had planned to go to the Canary Islands, which uh, we didn't yeah. go to. We actually went, went skiing instead. So this kind of came up and we said, well, we'd still love to do like a month, you know, on an island yeah. at the beach. So this is gonna be coming up very, very soon. And we'll of course document and share all the fun things that we're gonna do down there. Yes. I really am looking forward to our Flintstone car. I feel like it's gonna be like, the car we booked has 75 horsepower. I think we might have to help it. <laughs> yeah, which is like a dishwasher, you know, Pretty something much. like that. So. 